Have y'all seen the uh, new glasses that Ray-Bans and Facebook are working on? Yeah, I, I've, I've saw those. That's crazy. I, I watched a little video on it just a few days ago. And man, I cannot wait to see what comes from that. And that's one thing that I don't trust Mark Zuckerberg. If anybody's an alien on Earth, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos. Especially, I would agree. Elon I would Musk. agree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All, all, all three of those. Or, or maybe Mark Zuckerberg used to be like a normal person at one time. Because if you see it, early videos of him, that's what he seems like, a normal person. But whenever he had to testify to Congress last year, the year before, whenever that was. When he sat on the cushion. I yeah. Think he sent, I think he sent his own personal Android to do it. That did not look like a human being. No, 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 it didn't. So maybe they just killed him off and replaced him with a human or something <laughs> like that. Who knows? Forget where I was even going to at this point. Oh, the, <laughs> the, the glasses. Okay. So uh, that's one thing that he mentioned in the video before. And, and for the people that don't know what we're uh, talking about, look up the video. It is absolutely crazy. It's, all it is is Facebook inside video in, in your sunglasses. You can press a little button there on the side, and it'll start recording. And it just records whatever you look at through the, sun, through the sunglasses. And then I guess it uploads it through a cloud, I guess, based. Yeah. And uh, that can upload it to Instagram and Facebook. But he said that this was going to open up the door for the possibilities in the future to have technology, like, like uh, virtual reality technology based in these sunglasses. Like you could be, we could all be in three totally separate countries. And if we all have the sunglasses on, we can be playing like Uno or chess or something like that with, you know, virtual holograms but looking through the sunglasses. And then that, I think, is going to open up the door to have technology based in contacts. And the list just goes on and on and on. See, when it, whenever I see some amazing technology like that, I do think that it's great and I can't wait to use it. But I also think about, like, what's this going to open up the door to? What is this going to lead to? And them sunglasses, man, I think is, is going to be a big thing in the future. Oh, yeah, that's our gateway to the matrix yes I See, agree. I, as much as i just said and said i'm a big fan of technology and i am i'm one of those guys that are rationally afraid of simulation and i trust elon to a certain degree i don't trust him because elon has said for years that artificial intelligence we should be afraid of and then he's making every big leap in artificial intelligence there is to be made so elon stop but Two, he believes that if the matrix was ever a possibility, if the simulation was ever a possibility, statistically, you're more likely to be in it now than not in it. And, and I don't like the whole plan with the matrix deal. Yeah, I, I heard his little talk on that too. And I don't know, like, I would like to think that if we were in a matrix-based reality right now, that we would know it. See that? But how, but how would you know? That's what makes you statistically more likely to already be in the matrix. No, you would know it. See, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I think that you would know it. You would have to somehow. Like, you, would, there, you personally would find a glitch somewhere. I mean, something yeah. would set off. I mean, but, but, even, he, but, but of course they say like, oh, the glitch could be deja vu. You know, they, they can uh, throw crap at you. And, and then it just makes you think like, dang it, you could be right. I'm joking aside, my fear for the matrix is, you know, for a simulation is kind of the loss of life because I don't think humans can be fully tricked. I think you guys are right in that regard. I think you put us in that simulation and you make things too good and we eat each other alive. You make things too bad and we eat each other alive. I just don't think we can function in it. So I think a simulation would be the ultimate end. without sedation. I guess they could sedate us down, you know, I, but I don't I don't think it could ever actually work. Who knows, though? Because, like, I mean, even with the virtual reality that they have nowadays, how, like, you can put on the full-piece suits and, like, your entire body be in the video game. What's that going to lead to down the road, you know? Like, can people one day almost live their full entire lives inside of a virtual reality? I don't know how that would be possible, but it's just because I'm too stupid to understand it right now because we haven't got to that advanced technology. But that could for real be a possibility, I would think. If that 
was possible. I mean, yeah, it would be fun to do, but to spend your whole life there, that would be just sad. That would be a life waste. But for but for some people, you know, like that might be a good thing. There's some people out there yeah, that have I mean, crappy yeah. lives. You There's know. people that's close to that at this point. All their news and information comes from Facebook. All of their visual input and any, you know, any desires they have are illustrated on Instagram. Any experiences they have are from videos they watch on YouTube. Any conversations they have are from Messenger. I mean, I know people fairly well that, especially since the pandemic, don't have a job, don't have social interaction. Their whole existence is artificial, and they enjoy it fairly well. And I think there'll always be a segment of people that enjoy that. I don't think a computer can recreate what I sense and feel when I take a hike. I don't think a computer can recreate the feeling I get when I see my kids. I don't think they can recreate the level of annoyed I can make my wife. Like those things are just innately human. They can't, they can't be reproduced, but for some people, artificial will be good enough. For some people, it would, you know, and like I said, it would be cool to check out and play every now and then, but I don't think I'd like to spend there. I couldn't do it. You know, no. Yeah. I, I and put and to add on what Justin was saying about not making him feel a certain way, I don't think a computer would make me feel in a rush to get to a bathroom after eating Taco Bell. True. Very yeah. true. Yeah. And if this is a virtual reality, and whoever created the components and, and the uh, little computer stuff, then thank you for Taco Bell. Big yeah. shout out to whoever's idea that was. But it's, it's crazy, though, that we're at a point in technology that we have to even question if we're in a virtual reality. Like the point, like, the, if we, like where we have to have this conversation, that's pretty crazy in itself. They're like, I don't think that I'm in a simulation. Maybe, maybe not. It's just crazy we're at this point. Imagine going back to 1910 and telling people like, one day you're going to question whether this life is real or not, whether you're living inside a computer. That's a good point. I would point. say, what's a computer? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and I mean, this is just 111 years later. Yeah. And then if you said it's like a TV, I would say, what's a TV? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It, it's, it's, it's a crazy time to be alive, but it's also fascinating and, and fun. I enjoy it. And like, I just know that I, I've let go at this point. I know that one day we're either going to blow ourselves up or World War Four is going to happen and we're all going to nuke each other to death or who, who knows. I, I know it's all going to end badly some way if if i if i live to see it so i'm just here for the ride man I, I don't think that i'm not one of those people that shuns technology or us growing to be a little bit more advanced in the future because i'm just like if, if they're like hey we have a button to create a black hole i'm like go ahead let's see what happens who knows i'm i'm optimistic i mean i am to, to me there's no other point in history i'd rather live in like there's points in history I, I have nostalgia towards like the 80s from when I was younger there's stuff like that but you know I look at the world today statistically is better off than it's ever been and I'm like you uh, most of that come from technology so I'm a go with the flow guy I mean do what you need to do the, the biggest thing is I think everybody should be able to be free to do what they want to do and just not force other people to do it if they don't want to 